Hi everyone. In today's video, we are going to solve this example, right? So with the help of this example, we are going to discuss if the given differential equation is non-exact, how to find its solution, right? So before starting this problem, let us recall few things and then we will start to solve this problem, okay? So tell me when we say the differential equation is exact. If you have differential equation like this, m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. Okay, so here m and n are functions of x and y, just like this one, multiple of dx, this is our m, multiple of dy, this is our n. Okay, so when we say it is exact, if partial derivative of m with respect to y is same as partial derivative of n with respect to x. If these two partial derivatives are same, we say the differential equation is exact. Otherwise, it is non-exact. If it is exact, it is quite simple to find its solution. Okay, but before that, we will see the given differential equation is exact or not. So, tell me what is my m? Let me write m here, m. m means multiple of dx, which is here x, y, q plus y. And what is my n? n is nothing but multiple of this dy. Okay, so 2 is there outside this bracket. What will I do? I will multiply each term by 2. So 2 x square y square plus 2x plus 2y raised to 4. So now what will I do? I will find both partial derivatives. We will check both of them are same or not. Deba m by deba y. Deba m by Deba y. M. How many terms are there? Two terms are there. I will take separate, separate derivatives. So, we will get here derivative of this xy cube, derivative of y. What I do? I always take constants outside. So, x will come outside. Derivative of y cube. What is the derivative of y? So, we know derivative of x is what? x. So, same formula is applicable cable here, derivative of y with respect to y, 1. So now the question is, what is derivative of y cube? So here we use this formula, derivative of x raised to n, n x raised to n minus 1. That means when you have x raised to n, we, what will be its derivative? Whatever the power we write here and we reduce the power by 1. So here the power is 3. I will write before it. I will reduce the power by 1, so 2 plus 1. So the product is 3xy square plus 1. So finally, we got deba m by deba y. Okay, so here x is constant since we find the derivative with respect to y. So that's why I took x constant outside y cube is 3y square and finally I got the answer. Deba m by deba y. Let us move further. Now I am going to find deba m by deba x. Now, Deba n by deba x. Okay, what is my n? Let me check. Yes, this is my n. But see, n is having three different terms. First, second, third. I will take different, different derivatives. Derivative of 2x square, y square, right? Derivative of 2x. Derivative of 2y raised to 4. So I always take constants outside. So here we are differentiating with respect to x. So y and functions of y are constant. So y square constant, it will come outside. 2 is also constant. So 2y square will come outside. Inside the bracket, we have simply x square. Here 2 is constant will come outside. Inside we have just x is there. 2y raised to 4. Actually x is not there. We are differentiating with respect to x, but we don't have x there. So 2 and y raised to 4, both of them are constant. Derivative of constant is 0. So here we get 0, right? So this is equal to 2y square. What is derivative of x square? Same formula I will apply, okay? If you have any power, I write the power here, 2 here, and I reduce the power by 1. So 2x raised to 1, 2. Derivative of x with respect to x? 1. Derivative of x with respect to x, 1. And there is 0. No need to write. Let us move further. We have some space. Let us use. Okay. So the product now, product, product of this 2, 2 into 2, 4. 
and x and is y square so x y square plus we have plus 2 only 2 into 1 2 that's it okay so this is a divide by divide so let us check both of them are same or not both of them are different so that's why we can say the given differential equation is non-exact okay so therefore deba m by deba y is not equal to deba n by deba x implies given differential equation is non-exact so we know that if the given differential equation is exact we can easily find the solution but see if it is non-exact don't worry we can convert it into exact by multiplying an integrating factor. If you multiply the given differential equation by integrating factor, it will be converted into exact. But now the question is how to find integrating factor. Actually, there are four different rules of finding integrating factor. So what will I do? We will take the overview of all those four rules and we will see which rule is applicable here, right? So uh, what will I do? I will remove this part. It is not required now. And I will tell you those rules in short. Okay. Simply I will uh, tell you in short. So first rule is deba m by deba y minus deba n by deba x upon n. If it is function of x, function of x, that means only function x is there. There should not be any y, x or constant. Both of them are applicable. So integrating factor is e raised to integration f of x d so this is a simple formula we have of finding integrating factor second deva n by deva x minus deva n by deva y did you notice this thing that here i interchange them getting uh, deva n by deva x came first deva n by deva y second function of what y here we get a function of y getting then integrating factor is e raised to integration f of y dy See, these two rules having a same format, just minor changes are there. Here we want function of x, then integrating factor is this one. Here we get a function of y, then integrating factor is this one. Okay. Third, the given differential equation, the x, the f1, xy plus y, f2, xy is equal to 0. Given differential equation is in this format then only the third rule is applicable. I'm not writing the third rule in details, okay? I'm simply mention the condition. The fourth rule is the function is homogeneous function. So this is, fun uh, oh, sorry, differential equation is homogeneous, homogeneous. Homogeneous means what? Degree same, degree of each term is same, okay? So generally what I suggest, I always start with the fourth rule. If fourth rule is applicable, I will go for it. Because it is quite easy to check. If fourth rule is now not applicable, then I will go for the third rule. It is also easy to check. If both are not applicable, then only I will go for rule number one or two. Which one is applicable, I will apply. Get it? The reason is, it's quite time-taking process to fast, so check whether these rules are applicable or not. And just by observing, okay? You can easily find uh, the given difference, the, the rule number three is, or four is applicable or not. So I will do the same. I will check whether the fourth rule is applicable or not. What is the fourth rule? Differential equation is homogeneous. Homogeneous, that means power same. Getting? Uh, yes. X, Y cube. So here we take the combined power. Combined, that means power of X is one, Y, three. Total power is four. Power of Y is one. So it is not applicable, getting? So power, each term, term is having different, different powers. Here four pow power, here one, here four. So that's why it is not homogeneous. Power degree is not same, getting? So it's not homogeneous. So that's why the rule number four is not applicable. Let us go for rule number three. X, F1, XY. That means everywhere you should have XY. XY, XY, okay? Everywhere XY, XY will appear. So x, y here just we have x only, there is no any y. Here just we have y only, there is no any x. Here we have simply y, there is no any x. So given differential equation is not in this format. So the rule number 3 is also not applicable. Now just last two options we have, either rule number 1 or 2. What will I do? I will check that rule number 1 in rough. Okay, I will check in rough whether it is applicable or not. If it is applicable, I will write properly here. Otherwise, the last option is rule number 2. 
So simply I'm checking, huh? I'm not writing the actual answer. I'm simply checking the rule number first is applicable or not. Dev m by dev by y minus dev m by dev x upon n. Uh, I need to solve dev m by dev by y. Where is my dev m by dev by y? This one. 3xy square plus 1. Getting minus. Dev n by dev by x. Where is it? This is dev n by dev x. Minus sign outside. So sign will get changed. 4xy square minus 2. And n, n, n. This 2x square y square plus 2x plus 2y raised to 4. So 3x square xy square minus 4xy square minus xy square. 1 minus 2 minus 1. Upon, see what can I take common? 2 I can take common. x square y square plus x plus y raised to 4. So tell me, can we cancel anything? No, we cannot cancel anything. And see what we expect. We want just function of x only. But here we're, we are not getting function of x. So, y's are also there. Okay, we cannot remove those y. So, that's why the first rule is also not applicable. So, we have total four rules out of this four. Th these three rules are not applicable. Just last option is there. We have to go for rule number two. I am sure that rule will be applicable there. But again, we will check. Huh? I will not directly write. We will check. See, now I am little bit confident since these remaining three rules are not applicable. That means fourth rule will be that's rule number two will be applicable. Okay, so let us consider. So I'm writing properly. Consider what is it? Deva n by deva x minus deva m by deva y upon what? M. Deva n by deva x, where is it? Uh, deva n by deva x. This is 4xy square plus 2. Deva m by deva y. This is deva m by deva y. But see, there is minus sign outside. Sign will get changed minus 3xy square minus 1. What is my m? My m is this one. xy cube plus y. Okay. Uh, what can we cancel? Yes. 4xy square minus 3xy square xy square. 2 minus 1, 1. In denominator, we can take just y common. If I take y common, so xy cube, so we will have xy square. If you take y common, 1. See, uh, at numerator and denominator, we are getting same bracket. So, I am so much happy to cancel this bracket. Okay. So, if anything get cancelled, we feel that we are right. We are, getting, we are on the right track. So, bracket got cancelled and we got 1 by y. And yeah, we were expecting the same. This is function of y. That's it. Function of y. Only y should be there. Y that means function of y should be there. There should not be any x. We got the same. So that's why definitely the rule number 2 is applicable. Right. So let me remove this unnecessary part now. The condition of rule number 2 is satisfied. Right. Condition of rule number 2 is satisfied. So rule number 2 is applicable. We got a function of y. So that's why we say by rule number two, the integrating factor is e raised to integration f of y dy. So in powers of e, we have to solve that integration. No worry, we will solve e raised to integration f of y is 1 by y dy. Do you know the integration of 1 by y? It is log y. e raised to log y. So e and log always get cancel to each other and we get y. So, this is our integrating factor. So, if you multiply given differential equation by this integrating factor, that non-exact differential equation will be converted into exact differential equation. So, let us do multiplying, multiplying given differential equation by y. So, let us do so, I will multiply. Three terms are there. 1, 2 and this 3. Let us multiply each term by y. Okay, I am multiplying each term by y. So, let me write first y xy cube plus y dx. Here also I will do the same. y into that bracket. 2 is also there. No? I forgot. 2y x square y square plus x plus y raised to 4 dy is equal to 0. 0 into y? 0. My suggestion is to solve this bracket properly. Okay, If you solve the bracket properly, we can easily do the calculation. So, that's why. 
Just make a screenshot of it, then we will move further. So let us continue. Okay. So now I will solve the bracket. Okay. I will take the product of each term with y this. So x y raised to 4 plus y square dx is there. Okay. I will solve this bracket also. I will multiply each term by this 2y. So 2x square y cube, right? Plus 2xy, 2xy, right? Plus 2y raised to 5. Yeah, finally we wrote, solved. dy is equal to 0. So I can say this is exact differential equation. This is an exact differential equation. Basically, it was uh, non-exact. But now we multiplied by integrating factor. So it is converted into exact differential equation. So I should write my new m. M means multiple of dx. So this is my m plus y square. Our new n. N means multiple of dy. So entire bracket I should write 2x square y cube plus 2xy plus 2y raised to 5. That's it. So I got my new m, new n. So now we have to find a solution. So finally we converted the given differential equation into exact. If it is exact, it's quite simple to find a solution. The solution is integration m treating y constant plus integration n free from x dy is equal to c. The solution contains two integrations. Getting So sim simply we have to solve these two integrations. We have to add them is equal to c. That will be the answer. But c, I, my suggestion is we will solve these two integrations separately to av avoid the confusion. So let us focus on the first integration. So consider the integration is integration m treating y constant. Okay, I'm cons considering y constant dx. What is my m? This is my m. You can see there are two terms separated by addition. So I can take separate, separate integration. So I will get here integration x y raised to 4 dx integration y square dx. See y is constant here. I already mentioned. So y raised to 4 constant will come outside. Integration x dx. Here y square is constant will come outside integration dx. Integration uh, see I am sure you know this formula but let me tell you again x raised to n. Integration is x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1. If x has any power its integration will be uh, we need to add 1 in power and same number in denominator, right? So the power has x has power 1. So its integration will be y raised to 4. 1 plus 1, 2, same number in denominator. y square integration of dx is x. So it is x square y raised to 4 by 2 plus x y square. So finally, we solved the first integration. Let us move further. We need to solve the second integration also. Okay, so let me write properly. Second integration. So consider, consider, okay, second integration is integration. The actual integration is terms in n free from x dy. Okay, so let us see what is meaning of it. n, how many terms are there? 1, 2, 3. Three terms are there, but term should be free from x. There should not be any x. Is there any x? Yes. So you cannot take the first term because x is there. Is there any x? Yes. So you cannot take the second term also. Is there any x? No. That means we can take the third term. What is the third term? 2 y raised to 5. 2 y raised to 5 dy. 2 is constant will come outside y raised to 5 dy. So for this, I need to apply this formula. The formula is quite simple. If you have any power of y, you need to increase it by 1. 5 plus 1, 6. Same number in denominator. So y raised to 6, 2 to cancel, 3. So I got the value of second integration also. So the solution is addition of this 2 is equal to c. So let me mention the solution is, right, let me write, therefore, solution is the value of first integration x square y raised to 4, right now, 
divided by 2 plus xy square, correct? Plus value of second integration, y raised to 6 by 3 is equal to c. So, this is required answer. So, in this way, we got the solution of given differential equation, okay? So, initially, it was non-exact differential equation. We converted into exact and we got the answer, okay? Just make a screenshot of it after that. After that, I'm going to give you one problem for practice. Okay, if you really understood this example, you can try for my next problem, which will be homework for you. Okay, uh, just make a screenshot of it. So, this is practice problem for you. Okay, so uh, try to solve this problem on your own. And if in case if you face any difficulty, no need to worry since in next video, I'm going to cover this problem also, right? And if you get the answer, then it's very good. Uh, but you can cross check your answer in my next video. Okay, so we'll stop here. Thank you. See you in the next video.